And let's look like right now at number 12 from the Fundamental Theorem of Algebra. And I'm going to rewrite these as x plus 3, x minus 1, x minus 2i, and x plus 2i. Okay, what I recognize is these are conjugates to each other, and that's what I'm going to start by multiplying first. I'm going to multiply the fronts. Now, the inside and the outside are exactly opposite. So when you have conjugates and you're foiling, you only have to do the fronts and the last. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and i times i is i squared. Also, we know i squared is the same as negative 1. So I get x squared plus 4 when I multiply the last two. I'm going to multiply the front two. Front, outside, inside, and last, when I combine like terms, I have x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now, yes, we could definitely go through and we can multiply this, multiply this, multiply this, right? You have six different terms. But I want to show you an alternative way that some students prefer. This is the box method that you may have previously learned. <coughs> We have x squared and a positive 4. x squared, positive 2x, and a negative 3. <coughs> Three terms are on top, two terms on the left. All right, this is an alternative to distributing six times. Multiply to get x to the fourth, multiply positive 2x cubed, multiply negative 3x squared. Multiply positive 4x squared, positive 8x, and negative 12. Now look at when we go ahead with this. I just want to make sure I did the exact same. That's 3. That's negative 2. That looks right. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead. There's only one item. That is x to the fourth. Now x to the third. There is only one item, so that's positive 2x to the third. Um, now we have two squares, a positive 4 and a negative 3. A positive 4 and a negative 3 is a positive 1x squared. There's 1, 8x, and a negative 12. That is the correct answer for number 12.